Good morning, everybody. I'm the Gulf Coast Granny, and today we're going to do a little gardening experiment. I have this container full of coffee grounds, and I just cut up an old pepper that had gone bad in the refrigerator. And I have these plants that I thinned from my garden, and I decided just to keep them because I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I've also got eggshells in here and a few more of these. These are mustard greens and radishes and lettuce. So I'm going to put these in there. And this is just an old blender that we don't use anymore. Which is why, oh, I might need to cut those in smaller pieces. I don't know if this is going to work or not because I don't know how dependable this blender is as far as the blade is concerned. But let's try to chop this up. And it doesn't need to be pureed. It just needs to be chopped. Now, let's stick a little bit of water in it. Put the lid on. I'm going to have to move it over here because this is where my outlet is. Well, that worked. Well, look at there. We're going to take these coffee grounds and this cesspool slurry <laughs> outside. And I'm going to show y'all how to make gardening soil with no money. Let's hope this works. So right here is an empty container. It's about 15 inches across and about 10 inches deep. You can use any container that you want to use. This is our slurry that we made. This is the coffee grounds. This is a little bit of chicken litter from the bottom of the chicken coop. And it's got all kinds of good stuff in there. Feathers and, and chicken poop and pine wood shavings. And then there is some old leaves. And this is regular old dirt from my yard. And we're going to mix all of that together and make some soil. And now we have soil. And what I did was I just layered all of those ingredients. And then I took my gardening fork and I turned it all over and chopped it all up. Now there's twigs here and there throughout. There's whole pieces of leaves. There's eggshells. There's, well, you saw what I put in the slurry. It will take time for all of this to compost down and make really good soil. But we're going to plant some lettuce in here and see if it'll take off. So what I'm going to do is get the bulk of the leaves off the top. And I've got here some gourmet lettuce mix. Now this lettuce mix is a, a blend of red and green lettuces. And lettuce only needs sunlight to germinate. You do not have to bury it in the ground. You can sprinkle it on the top. So let's do that. And I am just going to be very random with this. I'll thin it later when I'm when I need to. There. And now I've got some left for one of my grow bags. I'm going to take it and water it and set it out in the sun. And I moved it over here against the fence next to the cucumbers. I patted down the seeds and I watered it. And hopefully within the next few days, we'll start seeing some little sprouts come up. Now, I want to let y'all know that none of those ingredients were fancy at all. In fact, the topsoil in my yard is nothing but sand. Underneath, there's a lot of clay and sand mixed. But it's terrible soil. But what's going to make this grow is as all of that stuff melds together and composts down and it's going to give it all the nutrients in the world it could possibly need. Now, so what did y'all think of my no money potting soil? I've never done this before. 
it's an experiment, like I said in the beginning of my video. But I'm kind of excited to see how it's going to turn out. Uh, if I really believe that this can work. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, I believe it can work. And as that lettuce grows, what I will do is continue to add my slurries and continue to add leaves now and then, just a handful at a time. You know, gardening doesn't have to be expensive. And it doesn't take a lot to grow something. And if you have the bug to grow something and you don't have a lot of money, try this trick and see how it works out for you. You don't have to have the chicken compost. I know a lot of people aren't allowed to have chickens and don't want chickens. Um, in that case, you're going to probably have to have some fertilizer. And that might cost you 8 or $9, maybe 10 at the most. You can get uh, a good all around vegetable fertilizer, 10-10-10 or 5-5-5, something like that. Um, and mix it in maybe a handful or so. So anyhow, leave me a comment below and tell me if you're going to try this trick or not. Or if you even like it. <laughs> Y'all have a great day and I'll talk to you again real soon. All right?